Hello, welcome to Blue Harvest Toys. Yes, at the risk of going over to the dark side, I have got my first Stan Solo figure. Now, this is probably the limit I would go to getting a custom figure. Um, I think I would try and get a Blue Snaggletooth, a real one. Now, Rocket Fire and Boba Fett, Vlix, and I was thinking about the vinyl cape shower, and it's going for about thousand pound. I'm not going to spend thousand pound on a little figure like that. Now I do have the cloth cape one, obviously, um, so that is legit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare the both. Now. We'll start off with a blaster, which, let's get this guy's blaster out there. Now this is all custom, repro if you like. Now there's there's the original blaster, and you can, you can see it's slightly darker, the handle's bigger, it is quite different. You can tell the colour is a bit dark. You can you can tell you can tell. Uh, I can tell with the plastic that is kind of stiff. That is is about the same, but it's a bit more bendy. You can tell you feel with the plastic. You can feel with the plastic, but that is very close. Now there's no markings on the blaster. Absolutely no markings on the blaster, unfortunately, which um, kind of worries me a bit. But you can tell, I can tell anyway, put it that way. Right, so we'll get to the figure. Well, we'll get to the cape actually, because this is it's done by a Kenner, ex Kenner employee. Has done these so to tell you the truth it's not exact so I have seen I have seen obviously I don't have one to hand but I have seen the vinyl cape and there is hatching on one side of the cape and it's smooth on the other I think they, they've tried to do a bit of a let's get uh, Let's get a magnifying glass on that. That's uh, I don't know if that would help, but um, you can't really see. But there is there is some kind of pattern on one side of the of the cape. That didn't really help much to do. <laughs> but yeah, this one one side it's you can feel it's a bit rough. I think it's the outside. The outside, yeah, the outside is slightly rough. And it's supposed to be the way around. It's one well, anyway. One side is is meant to be. Let's get rid of the the stand for now. So one side is uh, smooth and one side is rough on the original. And this is what they've tried to re recreate. But luckily, they haven't got it perfect. It's not perfect. So this is never going to be taken for. A, a, a legitimate. I'm not going to sell it. I'm not going to. It's just it's just gonna go in my display, and it's just like I say, it's gonna be a custom figure that I'm gonna keep. I've got a Vlix I'm gonna paint, and obviously that's resin. So these actually are pretty good because the arm it's not perfect. The arm holes. Uh, almost cock on, but a bit too tight, a bit too tight, which is good. It's the right colour, the right length, and even the figure, even the figure is a custom. That is not a legitimate figure. It's got the SS on the bottom of the where the CEO should be, so that is a stand solo. Now, 
we look at the figures side by side, they're not that different. You can tell the, the, the paint is not as, not as good as that. And um, there's a difference in color. But um, I do think the hands are bigger as well. I might be wrong on that. I think the hands are slightly bigger. But all in all, that is a really good approximation of the Jawa. Now, this was very cheap, very cheap. I'll tell you how much it was, it was £16. Now with the hand with the with the handle being slightly wider, it's having difficulty holding it. It does hold it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, there is the stand solo. Um, that goes straight in without any hassle. He says trying to put it in without any hassle. Yeah, that goes straight in like that. That is, that that feels better. That feels better. And obviously with his uh, hood on, I mean I could put that on there, and make it look a lot better, but I'm not going to. I mean, look, you can see, you can see how shiny that is, to the, how dull that is. The plastic is different. You're not going to get the same plastic. So you can always tell. Always tell. But. I paid £16 for that and that includes the figure, the cape, the blaster and you can't go wrong really, you can't go wrong, it's, it is it is wrong, it is wrong <laughs> because I want, I, I do want to get the, the proper thing and all my collection is legitimate apart from this now so I kind of have gone to the dark side as I say, I cannot justify, even if I had a million pound, 10 million pounds, 100 million pounds, I could I could not justify getting a rocket firing Boba Fett, let alone a little guy like this, 1,000 pound for. And, you know, one day I might do, one day I might do. And, um, but I do actually prefer the cloth cape. I just, I just love this guy anyway. This tiny little guy, and he's, he's, he, I think he's better without any cape at all. I think he's, he's better as a naked Jawa. So there we go, little video today, and um, hope you don't unsubscribe. <laughs> it's just I've got it to. Um, I don't know why I've got it really. Just, just to look at and just to see, because I was told I was, I was speaking to. Um, Dan Solo and um, yeah it's he has got an, an ex as I say an ex Kenner employee doing his figures so they are really really good too good in fact and um, I just have to see for my own and I thought I'd get this because I know I'm never gonna get it I would like to get the slave layer as well but uh, I don't think I'll get it as cheap as I got this but anyway there we go there's my justification for getting this. So thank you for watching. And until next time, please do thumb up this video. Don't, don't downvote it, please. <laughs> you can do. You can do. I'll, I'll, this is justified for this one. But um, it's going to go in the cabinet next to this guy. It's not going to get mistaken for a real one. So until next time, thank you for watching. My toys be with you.